Okay, this how-to is how we're going to calculate the standard deviation for group data. The question that we're going to solve is on the whiteboard there. Right, to calculate the standard deviation for group data, we use this formula here, where we're looking at the sum of the frequency multiplied by the midpoint squared divided by the sum of the frequency minus the mean squared. So the first thing that we've got to do is create a table with the correct headings in so we can populate this formula nice and easily. So let's do that for this question here. What we need to do now is create a table with the data that we've been given with columns and headings that will help us populate this table so we can calculate the standard deviation and the mean. So the first thing we have to do is find the midpoint. The midpoint of this class here between 20 and 40 is 30. We're given the frequency of 4, so x squared, this is the midpoint squared, so this is 900. Now, we need to find the frequency times the midpoint, so this is 30 times 40, that gives us 120. And finally, in this column here, we're looking at the frequency times x squared. So this gives us 4 times 900, which is 3,600. What we need to do now is to do exactly the same for the rest of the data, and then we'll see how we calculate the mean. Okay, now that the table's complete, what we have to look at is the sum of these columns here. Now the sum is just purely saying add all these up and put the total in here. So once we've done that, we need to calculate the mean. X bar stands for the mean. And so we look at the sum of the frequency times the midpoint, which is this figure here, so that gives us 1140, divided by the sum of the frequency, which is 20. This gives us a mean of 57. So we've calculated the mean to be 57. Now what we've got to do is calculate the standard deviation using this formula here. Now, we've calculated all these figures from our table here. So let's substitute them in. The first part is asking us for the sum of the frequency times this midpoint squared which is this figure here. This is the sum. So we've got 72,400. The sum of the frequency is here, which is 20. And we have to subtract the mean, which we've already calculated, squared. This gives us the next stage of the square root 3,620 minus 3,249, which ends up as a standard deviation of 18.46. So there we have it. We've calculated the standard deviation for a set of group data. In summary, what we have to do is populate a table with these headings where the class and the frequency will be given. The first stage 
is to calculate the sums using those figures to calculate the mean and then we can substitute everything into the standard deviation formula and calculate the standard deviation and draw our conclusions from that. Thank you very much. Okay.